Hi everyone, welcome to TechBeatly. Today we will discuss about GCP snapshot and how we can automate or schedule snapshots in GCP. Okay, now your servers are running on the cloud. So it can be GCP, Google Cloud Platform, AWS, Microsoft Azure, Oracle Cloud, Alibaba, or you, you name it. Still, it's your responsibility to take the data backup and restore it whenever you need it. That means to avoid unexpected data loss, you need to take care of your data by the available mechanisms like taking snapshots, uh, replicating to a different region like that. So in this demo, we will talk about GCP snapshots and how you can automate this snapshot process using scheduled snapshots. Here I will show one quick demo on how to take a scheduled snapshots in GCP or okay, Google Cloud Platform. Okay, uh, for this one, uh, we will log into Google Cloud Platform console. From GCP console, uh, we need to select Compute Engine. From Compute Engine, you can see there are no virtual machines running and uh, not this because uh, it's a fresh project I just created and if you check the disk I can't see any disk because nothing then no snapshots or no snapshot schedules for testing we need to create a virtual machine and we will use the disk of that virtual machine to test our snapshot schedule so I just uh, use the default settings for the virtual machine and just create it so it will take some time so um, I while it's creating the virtual machine, uh, we will go to the snapshot and we will create a snapshot schedule. So from here, you create a snapshot schedule. Then uh, you need to give a name for the schedule. You can put daily, weekly or something, protection, something. You can give a proper name and a description. And you need to select the region. You can select a multi-region or a single region so you can check that uh, option to see what are the available regions or what are the available options then uh, here i choose daily then here i choose the daily backup and uh, there is an option uh, to auto delete a snapshot after some days i put uh, 14 days let's say i just want to keep the snapshots for only two weeks i can put 14 days or i can put uh, 30 or like that is up to you up to your company policy or up to uh, your need so i choose the uh, policy then the start time you, will, you can see the start time I put between 4 to 5 UTC okay uh, this make sure is uh, matching with uh, your local time zone like that. then uh, deletion rule you can choose uh, delete snapshots uh, other than 14 days you can choose anything and so because I put 14 uh, it will it says 14 days if I put 30 it will say 13 days 30 days then we can add the labels like a protection snapshot or weekly snapshot under that and just create. So wait for some time and you can see there is a snapshot schedule created uh, with a name every day between 4 to 5 then auto delete uh, 14 days like that. We go to the virtual machine and see um, uh, virtual machine already created. We also we can see the disk. Uh, I didn't uh, select uh, any different name so the default name is instance one. So you can see there are no snapshot schedules uh, attached right now. So I just need to attach uh, my snapshot schedule to this disk. So you select the disk, edit the disk, then uh, you can see the option to attach a snapshot schedule. Either you can create a new schedule or you can create an existing schedule like weekly one or whichever you created. Then you just need to save. Okay, uh, now uh, we will go back to the disk and we, if you go back to the disk, you can see uh, the snapshot schedule already attached to the disk. 
okay wait for the update to be completed and check the disk details yes you can see the snapshot schedule is already attached now uh, we can check the snapshot uh, details uh, so sorry the schedule details I checked I, I, I know I created for 4 to 5 so I need to wait until that period to create the snapshot also please note uh, if you already attach a snapshot schedule to a disk then uh, you will not be able to delete the schedule if you want to delete uh, you must uh, detach from the disk and delete it let's say if you want to change something either you can detach and edit or better you create another schedule uh, means without affecting the current schedule so i click on the ssh so it's opening in the same browser window so it will take some time uh, wait for that one i just want to check uh, the date okay the time is uh, utc 7 so it means it's already passed uh, the snapshot schedule uh, so i cannot test it let's say i want to test a snapshot schedule uh, so now it's at 7 15 uh, i want to schedule something now so what i need to do is uh, create another schedule or you can attach that one uh, so in our case we create another uh, snapshot schedule uh, which will I take the backup between 7 to 8 a.m. Uh, UTC. So I create another one, uh, schedule daily to some description is needed. Then the start time I put a uh, 7 to 8. So I will go back to the disk and uh, I'll edit it and change the schedule. You can only attach a one snapshot schedule. So I change to the new one which I have created just now for testing. Update and just wait for the update to be completed. Now you can see uh, we have new snapshot schedule attached to the disk. So uh, now we have a, a new snapshot schedule attached to the disk and yeah you can see the snapshots already created uh, after the time period because I recorded this after some time. Uh, the first snapshot one is the one I created manually you can see the creation type. The top one you can see this one is a scheduled one uh, using the snapshot schedule. That's it. It's very simple. Now you have your daily or weekly or monthly backup or monthly snapshots automatically uh, taken care of by GCP. Since every snapshot will take some space, uh, please remember to read the GCP pricing model, the details uh, before you schedule anything. That's all for today's demo. See you next time with another demo. Please remember to subscribe. Thank you.